Okay, just going to make a quickie update on my mealworm colony that I have covered in some some old towels that we don't use very often. It just sits next to my um, next to my tarantula cabinet, and then I have a little heater here on the floor, and I kept I keep it set at 75, and uh, these guys seem to be happy enough. So let me show you. I finally got it all together. And as you can see, they're all running from the light. This drawer has pupa and beetles. There's the beetles. Nice. I just put those uh, carrots in there. A little bit of uh, egg crating. And then this here is a little tray that I have the pupas on. And when they hatch into beetles, they are able to get out of this tray. But once they're out, they really can't get back in because there's feet on this tray. This one, I don't know if this one's going to make it. This one's kind of funky. It had like a bad molt or something. So anyway, that is uh, drawer number one, pupa and beetles. Oh, and by the way, this drawer here, um, I can probably show you better underneath here, has a screen on here that I hot glued. And um, it's it's metal mesh screen because the beetles can actually chew through that. And then what happens is when they start to mate and they have eggs, they fall through the screen here into the eggs drawer. And once those become small beetles, then or excuse me, small worms, then you move them down to the small worm drawer. And then once they become medium, you move them down to the medium drawer here. And then down here is the large worm drawer, which I don't know. I may have too much light. It's probably washed out. Large. This drawer also has screen underneath because down here is frass, which is poo. <laughs> it's funny all the different words we have for poo. Anyway. Frass, manure, guano for birds. I mean, come on. Anyway, in the large drawer, I gotta open this because as soon as I open that, some of the stuff falls through. So in the large drawer, this is where they grow up and eventually turn into larva. These little pupas. Actually, they are larva when they're these. But anyway, when they're worms, these are the pupas, then you gather those pupas, and you take them up here, and you put them in here, and then they turn into beetles, and blah, 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 it starts back up. And then, so, the contents of each drawer is put into the next one's drawer. Um, I'm not sure how I'm actually going to do this. About once a month... This always stays the same as far as I know. The pupa will turn into beetles, beetles stay there, beetles will stay there until they die. Um, continuing to lay eggs. The egg drawer, the contents of this will move down to here, small will move down to medium, and then medium contents get poured into this drawer. Um, I believe. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work. So anyway, this is sort of a, an on-the-fly update. I'm doing this for the first time and figuring out as I go. So I would say in here, let's see, I've got one, mm -mm -mm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, at least, oh, 12. I've got at least a dozen new pupa in here. So I'm going to clean it up, remove the dead worms like this one is is a goner. So this guy needs to be removed, and I'll switch out the carrots up there for the beetles. Um, I don't currently have any eggs because the beetles have only been in here for, I guess, about a week or so. Um, and it usually takes about a, um, like I said, about a month. So, oh, I just noticed, look, they're not be beetles, they're beets. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyway, the I know what's in here. These were actually just for this video, and I plan on removing them anyway. You won't see them in future updates. Okay, guys, so that is the update for my mealworm colony, and there you go. Have a good one. Later.